Good afternoon, everybody. I want to, uh, first of all, I apologize for being a little late. Uh, I truly apologize. I was on a Zoom. So I want to welcome you all here. I want to recognize uh, Senator Mike Brady. Senator, thank you for always being here. Um, I want to recognize uh, the city clerk, Tim Cruz. Thank you very much. I want to thank all of the city employees and school employees that are here today. I want to uh, welcome um, the Cambodian residents and business owners in our fine city on this special day. I want to recognize two special people, David Lamb and Peter Long, uh, for being here today. Um, I want to um, also uh, recognize Tim Sullivan, who is our school committee member from Ward 7. Thank you. So in, in terms of, I've said this many, many times, Brockton's strength is in the people and the diversity that makes up our great city of champions. And so today, it's really an honor and privilege to thank the Cambodian residents and business owners in our city, um, the indelible mark that they have made uh, to our city, um, and they continue to make each and every day uh, in our fine city. So I would like to um, ask um, both David and Peter to, uh, to come to the podium, um, and I'm gonna present this to Kim, actually, uh, in my office, but I would, like, um, I would like to do an official mayoral proclamation Whereas Cambodia was liberated from French rule 70 years ago on November 9th in the year 1953, an act that demonstrated the resolute spirit that has characterized Cambodian culture through the ages. Whereas the growth and prosperity of Brockton, Massachusetts is due in part to an ethnic diversity that includes the wonderful Camb Cambodian population. Whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of Cambodian customs, food, and culture, which were brought to us by Cambodian immigrants who made their way to our fine city and have made an indelible mark on the city of champions. Whereas it is truly an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our citizens, both residents and business owners of Cambodian ancestry, and to extend to them best wishes for continued success and prosperity. Now therefore, be it resolved that I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, proudly proclaimed November 9th in the year 2023 as Cambodian Independence Day in the city of Brockton. I urge respectfully all residents in our fine city to join me in observing this special day and recognizing all the wonderful contributions the Cambodian culture has made to our community. And I'd like to give this to Kim. everyone. I just want to say thank you so much for coming today. Um, my parents are refugee immigrants, so I know the struggle it was for them to come to um, America and try to, you know, make a home away from home. So um, we settled in Brockton, and I'm so happy to call Brockton home. And I just want to thank the mayor for always um, continuing to do our flag raisings. So yes, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I'm, I'm going to ask um, Peter to please come to the podium, and he's going to express to us um, the meaning and the symbol of the wonderful Cambodian flag. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, Cambodia flag has three different colors, blue, red, and white. The blue represents the kingdom of Cambodia. The red represent the people of Cambodia. The white represent the religion of Cambodia. We have Buddhists, so Cambodia is a Buddhism, and uh, the, the white color, we, did, we uh, represent uh, the religion, and also represent peaceful in Cambodia. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to welcome our fine state senator, Michael Brady, to the podium at this time. As I said, the senator never misses a flag raising. He's been a wonderful advocate at Beacon Hill for Brockton and beyond. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and I am grateful to be here as your state senator. And we have a great team in Brockton working on behalf of all of our constituents. And I'm here to honor the Cambodian families that are here in the city of Brockton, our contributions to our country and the business leaders in, in the community. So. I'm just honored to be here as your state senator. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. The other elected official here is Mr. Sullivan. Would you like to say some words, Tim, from Ward 7, school committee member? I just want, Brian, don't, don't pick at me. I just want to say 
Brockton is the most diverse city I think I've ever been in. We represent, I think everybody has been represented here with the flags, and it's, uh, it's great to be here. I'm proud to be here. It, without you, we wouldn't have the city we have today. And I just wanted to thank you, all the Cambodian people and their ancestors. What a nice job. Thank you. So again, I'm, I'm sorry that we're not outside. The weather didn't cooperate with us today, but um, raising the flag here at City Hall is, is really going to be a, a wonderful honor. Um, I would ask all our um, friends that are visiting us today, and of course Kim and her dad, um, and anybody else, please just come to the we'll come to the flagpole and we'll raise it. So that does conclude the uh, official flag raising ceremony from Cambodia. Um, but again, we have some wonderful food. Peter made some um, ethnic Cambodian food, so please enjoy yourself. And if you're a visitor to City Hall, um, please enjoy. I mean, this is a special building, so take it in. The artwork is unbelievable. And I do have to, um, today's kind of a bittersweet day. Um, Jay DeGrace, uh, this is his last day working here at City Hall in the mayor's office. He's moving on to the state. Um, but Jay has been an unbelievable uh, member of the team in the mayor's office, and when we do these flag raisings to showcase how special Brockton is, Jay's always the one leading the point. So let's give a round of applause. So again, we, we, we thank uh, Cambodian residents and business owners, and uh, we, really, uh, we really appreciate Peter bringing some food. So be well, be safe, and tomorrow um, is not City Hall will be closed. Of course, Saturday uh, is Veterans Day. The parade will kick off at 10 o'clock at the War Memorial. And again, if you're a veteran that has served our city and our state and our country, we thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.